Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Humble House. Thank you for being here. This is the headband that we're making today. I'm calling it the feather headband because I feel like these look like little feathers. They're so fun because you can make them in so many colors and you can add any type of bead that you like. So for a casual outfit or a little more elegant, I try to go as slow as possible so that even beginners can follow along. Do not be discouraged, even though it might look a little complicated. You can do this. You've got this, okay? Let me tell you what you're going to need for this. So these are the materials that you're going to use. Some yarn. I'm going to keep mine in a neutral color. Not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but it is the Peyton's Grace. Net weight 1.75 ounces or 50 grams. It is 100% mercerized cotton. This is probably the best material for this type of headband uh, because it holds up really well. It is a light 3 weight. The recommended hook size is a 3.75 millimeter. I am going to downsize in my hook to a 3.5 millimeter or a size E. Then you need a needle with an eye that is large enough to fit the yarn so you can put the, your yarn through and also the beads that you're going to pick. That is if you use beads. You don't have to use them. I got these. At, you get them at the craft store at any, you know, where they have the jewelry, making items. Then some stitch markers. If you don't have stitch markers, just use paper clips. And some scissors, of course. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about the sizing. Okay, for the sizing, so for example, don't mind my sketch. So these are the bands that will tie around the back of your head. And these are these little feathers, okay? So every feather consists of 10 chains. And then you have your 40 chains on the sides. So the, just, as a, just as a reference, my daughter is 18 months, but her head circumference is 20 inches. For her, I, this is the size 18 to 24 months. Okay, If you're going to go down in size, we are basically only taking out one of these feathers. Okay, so here's the chart for that. So as you can see, zero to six months you will only do four feathers so the ties on the side always stay the same then for the size 6 to 12 months you would do five of the feathers and for the size 12 to 18 months you will do six of the feathers and then of course the last one is seven now if you want it larger you can add another feather and that's how you know you need to add more chains all right, to get started, well, I decided for the white color and I actually changed my beads. Find the beginning of your yarn, then take your needle and insert your yarn through that eye. Have the amount of beads that you're going to use ready. So for your size, I need seven and I'm just going to pass them through this yarn. So we're just going to have them basically sitting there. Now I am just going to remove my needle and we will, like I said, put these to the side and we will start with a slip knot. Form a loop. You take your hook, you insert it through the middle, under the yarn, then get a hold of this loose end and start Pulling it through, not all the way, put your thumb on it, then hold on to both ends and pull in opposite directions, just like that. Now you're going to pull on one side to tighten it onto your hook. Not too tight, not too loose. So the beads we won't use until we get to the part of the feathers, so just Keep pushing them down as you're working your first chains. So for this size, as you saw in the sizing guide, I am going to chain 151 chains. So let's start. How do you chain? All you do is you put your hook under the yarn. So that means yarn over. Then twist and pull it through that first loop. That is one chain. So yarn over, turn, and pull it through. There you have two chains. You want to do them as evenly as possible. Doesn't always work on the first try, but with practice, you will get there. 
once you have the amount of chains that you need for your sizing so like i said in my case it's 151 put the chain like this kind of flatten it out so that you see this is that first chain from your hook okay you do not want to work into that chain you are going to work into this second chain from your hook we are going to do single crochets now into that second chain so you can see you just insert through there there's that space then you yarn over pull it through so pull up a loop you will have two loops on your hook then yarn over and pull through both loops so that is your first single crochet then you move on to your next chain which is this one right here so it's not this large space don't get confused this next one so again you insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops so now you have two single crochets and then you continue on to that next chain right there and do a single crochet we need 40 single crochets so when you have 40 no matter what size you you're doing you're going to do 40 I will meet you once you have done those. Okay, I have my 40 single crochets. Now we will start with the feathers. So I am going to go by steps because you are going to have to go back in the video to remember how to do the other feathers. And this is also where we start using the stitch markers. So this is chain number 40 and you can see there's a space or I should say your single crochet number 40. So you are just going to mark that with a stitch marker it's just for your reference to know where you started that feather we will chain six okay remember that's just yarn over and pull through so one two three four five and six all right now you're sort of turning it a bit towards you. Now remember this was that first chain. So we will skip that first chain from your hook and work a single crochet into that second chain from your hook. So one and then go into the next chain. Two go into the next chain. three so three single crochets go into the next chain four and go into that next chain five so five single crochets so right now it looks this is where it starts to look confusing so this is your tie then here where we continue after those five single crochets you're going to chain one okay and this one does not count you're going to turn your work always in the same direction and I am going to mark it just to show you later on where you need to insert your hook okay so this is just to make it easier for you you don't have to mark it it's just so that you can see where you need to go but you can mark it if you want to that chain all right so when you turn it's like oh where do i need to insert my hook so obviously not in that chain remember those two loops that every single crochet has there's the front loop right here and the back loop that is where you want to insert your first stitch into the back loop then yarn over and do a single crochet and continue again into the back loop and do a single crochet so you you need to have a total of five single crochets just like we had 
over here until you get to this this last one like so and now we will chain three more so one two and three now turn your work again skip this first chain remember I am going to mark it just for reference later on so we will not work into that chain but into the one right next to it we will do single crochet one and then into the next chain two and again you will have five single crochets over here and only into the back loop so that will give you a total of seven single crochets for this step let's chain one again down here and i will mark it once more for later now turn your work i hope you're not getting confused okay so obviously we will not work into that chain but we will work into the back loop again of these stitches so you will need seven single crochets over here as you can see there's that chain so you go into the one right next to it right there there's that back loop chain three and once more one two and three turn your work I will mark this once again okay so we will not work into that chain but we will into the one right next to it ah, it's like hard to keep that out of your way so right there So into the second chain from your hook and that means that you will have nine single crochets on your way back so in first into those two that are chains and then into the rest of those single crochets from the previous rows so this is seven of them Now let's chain one again. I will mark it and turn our work. Okay, so do not single crochet into that first chain, of course, the one that we use for turning, but do single crochet into the back loops and you should have nine single crochets. You know how we used to chain three after each of these rounds so we do not need to do that we just need to chain one this time and turn our work and single crochet into that second chain from your hook into the back loop only like i said you do not need to do this it's just so that i can then show you where you need to work into but you can do it if you don't want to get confused 
you will have nine single crochets going back down Okay, so nine. So this is what I wanted to show you. Where you see the stitch markers, that's where we always chained one and turned. Okay, so on this step, you need to work single crochets into each one of those chains. So let me take out these stitch markers just to show you, okay? So in case you did not put any stitch markers, these are those chain spaces right here where I just took out the stitch marker. One, two, and three. So one for each row. That is where you will work through that one loop only your single crochet. So one, then you go, you skip, and then you go over to this one. See it? Two, I mean, they're quite easy to see and three like I said it was just so that you would know where those loops are now chain one turn your work and into that second stitch from your hook you will work single crochets into the back loop only. You will do a total of nine single crochets. So there's three, four, For the next step, you will chain one, turn your work, and single crochet back down. So into the second stitch from your hook. Remember, not this one, but this one. So you need to single crochet nine. That last one is always tricky. It looks like you're done, but uh, it's, it's hidden, like right there. Okay, so nine. Okay, so now let's kind of untangle this. So remember, you have your tie. That one, put it to the side. And then you have your chains, your long chain over here. And you have this little feather right there now comes the part with the beads so you take one of the beads and pull it up very close to your to your hook this is where the stitch marker comes in handy because we need to work into this stitch to the stitch right here so you want your hook to be over the yarn kind of hard to hold on to okay and then you will insert your hook into the one with that stitch marker so keep it as tight as you can try to hold the bead on this side of the hook even if it wants to move then yarn over pull through that first loop as well as that second loop that tighten that as much as you can okay so that was basically a slip stitch through that for that bead like I said it's kind of hard to tighten that so you see where you had the stitch marker 
and then comes the next chain so we want to work into that next chain basically we do a single crochet just cut you just have to keep everything as tight as you can right here there's the bead there you have that bead okay and so you had that first single crochet and we need a total of 10 single crochets into those next 10 chains right so if you have it you know your tie over here you're working into these chains and I will show you in a moment what we need to do with these stitch markers I did the 10 single crochets I have the 10 single crochets now I want to chain four one two three and four okay we need to connect this chain right here to this is why I put in the stitch markers just to show you okay these are always the chains at the top now we don't need these two but I just wanted to show you we don't need to work into those at all but we do need to work into these two so what you're going to do I'm going to take out the stitch markers so just remember that it's this corner and this corner right here and like I said you should be able to see it if you didn't use stitch markers you should be fine so you will take your hook go through that first loop on this first corner and then also take that second corner go through that loop like that and put them together yarn over and we have to pull this yarn through all three loops sometimes it's easy sometimes it isn't <laughs> there oh, I got it <laughs> okay there so this was basically your fifth chain to connect these and now you chain one more so that means you have a total of six chains okay so one two three four five and six we will not work into this first one we will work into this connecting one okay so just grab the outer loop of it right there you should be able to see it and do single crochet so you need to do five single crochets into the next five chains so it will have a total of five single crochets so one two three four and five i am going to add a stitch marker here remember just so that I know where I started that next feather so this little bit right here this chain that we just did is practically this so we are starting the new feather but these are connect connected so let me just go a little bit faster on this one and I will not use stitch markers so you did five and you chain one you turn your work and single crochet just make sure that you do not twist the band while you're doing these little feathers let me just show you what it looks like right now so there are your feathers this is your tie and we're going to do 10 single crochets 
So I have two feathers so far. Do the amount of feathers that you need for your size and I will meet you after the last feather so that I can show you how we connect that last feather to the tie. Okay, I am now done with the seven feathers for this size. So let's say if you had four or five or six of the feathers, and this is where you finished. This was your last one. Obviously, if we don't connect it to something, it's just going to be loose and it's going to keep folding over. When you're done with that leaf, you do your 10 single crochets as usual along the chain. And then instead of chaining those six that we did, we're only going to chain four. So one two, three, four. Now in the fifth one we are going to join those two ends. We usually those two corners. Yarn over and pull through. Okay so this is that this is that fifth chain and here we have those four into all of those chains we will only do slip stitches so yarn over pull through pull through then into the next one insert your hook yarn over pull through pull through so instead of single crochets we are just trying to get our yarn down to the chains so you should have a total of four slip stitches. Now you see it's holding on to something. Okay. And now we're back here. So you did those four slip stitches. Now usually this is that space where we would add our little pearl or bead in here. So we're only going to do a slip stitch into that space. So technically you could say it's five slip stitches. <laughs> I just wanted to show you what to do with that space. And then you have your chains. So you're going to single crochet into your chains because this is your tie your second tie, you're going to single crochet all the way to the end of it. That's what it looks like. Here is now the end of this tie. So I finished with the single crochets, did my last single crochet into that stitch where we started. Now I'm going to chain one and turn the or rotate it because well before I start let me just show you we want to single crochet along the bottom of the headband okay so we're going to cr single crochet all along this border we're going to get to the end of the of the second tie and then we're going to turn back around and single crochet our way back Alright, so after you chain one, you will simply insert into that same stitch or chain where we started and single crochet in there. And then you see how there's a, a space right here. Well, there's two spaces. Okay, there's either this space, which is just one loop, but that's going to make it look very pulled, or you can go into this space that hold, that overlaps the two loops, and that just makes it look nicer. So try to go into these spaces instead of just where the one loop is. Okay, so you go in there, and you single crochet. So that is how we're going to 
to go back to the other side and I wanted to show you when you get to the part where you have those beads or the little pearls when you get to this part so you're going to it's going to look like this you're going to crochet single crochet along here and there's this big space okay you also single crochet in there so you'll be here and then into this space and then you continue right into this next one so you want to get into every space so here i just wanted to show you after you single crochet into this big space that i showed you this next space almost gets hidden by the pool of the yarn just make sure you also single crochet in there so i'm done with that first round of single crochets for the bottom part here was my last stitch now I am going to chain one turn my work I'm not going to rotate it this time so this is a complete turn and then I will single crochet into this stitch right here so through those two loops that is where my first single crochet goes and then you continue into each of the next stitches until you get the other side of the headband and this is going to be it this is going to be our last row and I will show you how to tie it off there we go this is all done now so I got to this last stitch with single crochets right before the corner now I am going to insert my hook through those two loops and we'll only do a slip stitch so yarn over pull through and pull through that other loop as well now I will cut off my yarn like so I'm going to yarn over again and pull this all the way through I will tighten this there's that end now I have two strings here and I will make two knots you will take your needle and insert both of those yarns through the eye of the needle now you just want to make sure the back so this is the back of the headband and that is where I want to thread this in so you just go into several stitches kind of like up and down pull these through through a couple more stitches and then you can come back around so you kind of do a little loop and then I'm just going to make another knot try and get this through here now I will make one last knot and cut these two yarns off And, the, and you are done with your beautiful headband there you have it you should be very proud of yourself this is a beautiful piece thank you for being here and trying this out i hope you succeeded i am sure you succeeded and i will see you next time please follow me i'm sure you succeeded please follow me on instagram at humblehus i would love it if you tag me with your work i would love to see what you've done and I will see you next time. This is my channel, Humble Hus. Bye.